Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for having us. I'm Christian. I'm a principal with eVentures. Um, we are a global VC firm with uh, roughly $1 billion under management currently. Um, we are a sector agnostic VC firm investing across all stages and uh, also in seed into exceptional companies and exceptional entrepreneurs that we know very well. And funnily enough, roughly a year ago, um, at NOAA conference in Berlin, I met this gentleman, Andrew Shaw, who is the CEO of Koya, a company that we have seeded. Um, I know Andrew for many, many years, and uh, that is why I supported him from day one and by, by doing his seed round and now having invested roughly $10 million into the, the seed round in total combined with Valar Ventures from New York. Andrew, what is Koya? Uh, Koya, uh, digital insurer, full stack, Based in Germany, uh, taking on the consumer market, uh, PNC space, uh, everything but life, health, and auto. Uh, so we're going to be debundling the traditional insurance policy and rebundling it around the customer and uh, trying to create a better experience with that. Um, uh, what, what, what got us started on this, this crazy journey, maybe? Um, a little bit of background about where I started. Uh, Credit Tech was the previous company I was at responsible for everything in the data acquisition side and trying to create a better uh, processing of a, of a customer experience using data. So I went off and, and traveled looking for a, a new application of the space, looking at fintech industries, something really paper-based, uh, manual, slow processing, bad experience, uh, and ended up on a, on a tropical island in, uh, in uh, Gili T, uh, and had just done an awesome course Diving, I uh, wanted to go and, and, and uh, do the next trip to Komodo Islands and the best diving in the world. And instead of diving, uh, I ended up diving into bed really sick uh, for a week with something like dengue fever, right? Um, I was Googling what symptoms I had. I, I went to the local doctor, he overcharged me, misprescribed me. Uh, I went to cancel my diving course and, and uh, basically the guys told me what I've got, right? And it was this feeling of really being alone there, looking for my insurance policy. Uh, I knew I'd bought like three or four insurance policies over the last year and I couldn't find a, a single one in my email box because they're not talking to me, right? They're not part of my experience. So it was this feeling of being alone and thinking, why aren't insurance companies there when you really need them, right? It's this old paper-based industry which is just reserving the capital, putting it on the side for some future eventuality, but they're not really engaging with me in my experience uh, and, and they're at that, that point of need. So it was this basic thought, uh, why don't we build something more of a product, which is, which is there with me, and, and actually helping me get out of that situation. You know, Talk to a doctor on my phone, uh, submit the receipts uh, straight off to the insurance company, and, and, and ask the questions, and, and solve my real problem, because I just wanted to go out and dive and enjoy that experience. And uh, you know, it feels like the whole industry is really like trying to deal with problems of the past and trying to make a make sense of all the data they've got uh, of the past rather than utilizing that for like solving problems of the future, right? Uh, I think the core principle of insurance is more about protection and like feeling, uh, just, just feeling safe and going and doing your, what you want to do rather than, uh, yeah. So. For, for, for me as a VC, when, when, when we first um, met Andrew and, and had them in the partnership meeting, we, we were looking into the insurance industry and realized, okay, this is, this is one of the last trillion dollar industries on planet that, that desperately need disruption. And we, we thought that uh, when, when you look into platform models like Facebook, Amazon, and Google, that, that maybe the insurance world is one of these uh, last platforms that, that, that might be created in the future. So tell us, Andrew, like what, what kind of problems does the traditional insurance world have and why can they not move? I think it's scary. It's a trillion dollar industry in Europe. Uh, and they're sitting on literally infrastructure from the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, and they can't even get the developers uh, to, to deal with these problems uh, anymore, right? Uh, they're sitting on this infrastructure which is completely outdated and can't deliver an online uh, experience the way it should be delivered. Um, and uh, <laughs> first time on stage here. Uh, so, yeah, sitting on the, on the infrastructure from, from the 70s, uh, they putting a broker between them and the customer uh, and a tied agent so they can't really understand the customer and it's all about data at the end of the day and these things are, are not built for them. They're built for automating departments rather than delivering an online experience. So uh, it's something, uh, yeah, 
So when, one, one, one thing that, that we did when, when we tried to figure out if, if Coir is a good idea, because we also realized it's basically a very crazy bet in order to you know, get there, uh, we will come to that later, we, we realized that um, probably if your opponent is, is really big, um, it, it's not a bad thing if you start to find the weak spots. And Andrew had a nice story back, back in the days from from his rugby life, basically, that yeah. uh, helped us a little bit to, to get there. In a, in a former life, I did play a bit of rugby, and uh, one of the, the things my dad said to me was, you know, it's not about the size of the opponent, because the bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's about where you attack them, right? You've got to go low, and you've got to go in with full commitment. So uh, that means going at the ankles and letting the momentum crash them down with ball in hand. This is why we take on the insurance industry on the technology side, because this is where they're literally too slow. They can't move, they can't get the people on board to, to, to run these business models. They can't uh, keep those people, right? Like literally the, the, the people don't want to work for an insurance company in a waterfall environment, top down. You have to start the thing completely fresh and independent of the industry. We are a company which is actually staying completely away from that industry gravitational pull at the moment, right? We are, we are starting full stack, our own insurance company. We're bringing on the top brains from the industry. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely lucky enough to be working with uh, guys who've, who've literally seen the geographical disruption across uh, Eastern Europe and uh, when, when the Iron Curtain fell there and uh, are looking at this a little bit like the, uh, the technological disruption uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the insurance space now. So working with Peter Hagen, uh, ex-CEO of Vienna Insurance Group, uh, who's, who's basically been, become the market leader in Eastern Europe with 19% market share versus 11% runner-up of Gelarati. Um, and one of his analogies was uh, basically when there's an opportunity there, you, you, you really have to be all in. Um, when they went to Eastern Europe as full-stack insurers, uh, he said like a couple of us went in there, uh, a lot of guys went in with brokerages and, and only taking a portion of the value chain. And uh, of the insurers, most are still around. Of the brokers and tied agents, none are around anymore. So it's about when there's an opportunity, where there's a change in consumer behavior and delivering a product to the customers, you've got to be all in on the opportunity. And that's why we go full stack to own our own product, uh, to start building customer-centric products. So we're going to be debundling the traditional policy, rebundling it around that consumer experience. And you can only do that when you own the, in the, when you have the insurance license and your own technological back end, right? Uh, so what, what we have learned now is that the insurance opportunity is huge. It's a trillion dollar market and the old guys, they cannot move, so you've got to attack them at their weak spots. So what, what, what do we need to do in order to get there? So what, what is missing in order to start selling insurance products? So firstly, get your own license. Uh, you've got to own your own product. Uh, it's the only way you can build a customer-centric product. Get your own technology. Uh, we've completely flipped around the way you build the back end of an insurance company. We're basically putting our data analytics at the front of the infrastructure and building a whole application off of that. It's more like if you think of LinkedIn's infrastructure rather than a typical insurance company. So it's a platform that can deliver not only insurance but services to the customer. Uh, you've got to get the right team together blending the, uh, the experience of these, these uh, titans of the industry. You know, another guy who's just come on board is the ex-chief uh, insurance officer or chief uh, administration officer, governance officer of the Allianz Group. So people who've really been at the top of these institutions and, and know that the disruption is there and are able to fit into a, a startup environment. I think blending these cultures is absolutely, absolutely key. And lastly, I think you've got to separate yourself from the industry. If you really want to take on a big industry, you can't play with it in the beginning. Uh, you have to completely separate yourself from that gravitation, gravitational force, otherwise you're going to be trying to fix problems of the past rather than saying, hey, there's a massive data set out here, how do we use this to solve the problems of the future and bring data science and everything into running the business? Yeah, cool. So, thank you very much for listening. Uh, watch Koya, watch Andrew, and uh, have, a, have a nice last day of the conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>